What's going on everybody? Today I have another spinner review. This time it is a metal spinner from dragonspinners.com. Uh, actually, it's for, it, you can get it on Amazon, but the, that's their, just Dragon Spinners is their name. Um, I just see that they just, they did misspell that there. They left out their R. Oh boy. But, either, either way, it's a nice little tin case with a clear front so you can actually physically see your spinner. The spinner itself is gorgeous. Um, I mean, it's one of the prettier spinners that I've actually tested myself. And this packaging, it is very padded and it's very, I mean, not super hard to get it out, but it's not just going to fall out whenever you dump it. So that's kind of what the packaging looks like there. It's got like a foam cut out for your spinner. So here is the Dragon Spinner. They got their branding on there, dragonspinners.com, and a little dragon emblem. The other side doesn't have anything on it, but the design of this one looks really cool, I think. I'm just going to let you guys like take a look at it, but I think it looks really good, and it spins wonderfully, like it's beautiful. It does have like a little noise to it. Um, let me see if I can get it close enough where you guys can hear it. So, not too bad. I mean, for what it is, it's very, very quiet, I think. And it's easy to fidget with because it does have the four arms, so you can pretty much catch it in any, <clears throat> excuse me, in any direction here. And it's real easy. You can flick it frontwards, backwards, any way you want. Very good for fidgeting. I mean, and the weight on this is really, really good too. I really, really have almost nothing but good things to say about this spinner. Um, let's let's take a look at the bearing inside show you guys what that looks like and as you can see it's fairly easy to physically get the little what are these things the caps the little caps off so it's just a screwing mechanism is what they look like and there's the bearing in there you it does have the slits here so you can easily take the bearing out I'm not going to though but there you go that's what the bearing looks like I'll put this back on the top. Doesn't really matter. I just, I don't know. All right. Now let's see how easy it is to actually screw this back in. I know you do have to get it lined up properly, which can be a little bit of a task. There we go. Not too bad. And there we go. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to get my scale over here and we're going to see how much this one weighs. I like to just see how much my spinners weigh, so let's see. Sixty-six point eight grams. So you kind of get an idea of how much this one weighs. I think my plastic ones weighed uh about 48 grams so it's 20 grams heavier than your standard plastic spinner so you guys can kind of imagine you know what that might be like it's a very nice weight I really really do like it and there's just a little bit of concave in these caps like not a whole whole lot but a little bit very very comfortable to hold like seriously I think this is the my favorite spinner that I've tried so far and I've tried like five or six of them so that's that so let's do I'm gonna cut the video and I'm gonna go get my iPad and we're going to do a spin time test laying down flat on the table and see how long this spins for I've never I've not done this I've not tested this, this would be the first time so let's see All right I got my iPad and we're ready to do the spin test
So there we go, guys. Almost a five minute spin there. Uh, possibly could have reached five minutes if I could flick it a little harder, but um, my table, uh, just the height of it and everything and the camera being in front of me is a little bit hard. But it, I mean, you guys saw it right there. It's almost a five minute spin, you know, for, you know, the flick I gave it. So it did really, really good for what it is. I mean, it, it's a good spend time. So again, I, I have to say this is my favorite spinner that I've gotten so far. So if you guys want to, you know, if you're looking to buy a, a good, good quality spinner that spins for, you know, quite a long time, I would say go for this one. I mean, I've tried other things, some more popular brands of them that spin for about the same time but this one's much more comfortable much easier to fidget and that has to do with the shape of it I believe I mean not everyone's gonna like this shape just because it is you know a four prong some people like three some people like two you know the two like that but I don't know I just I really like this one I think it's there's something special about it so anyway guys hopefully this review helped you out some and um you know that's what I'm here for. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me. I'll try to get back with you. And um, again, thanks for watching. I'll see you all next time.